Welcome once again. Right now we're at 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. The letter and the Spirit. Paul writes, Are we beginning again to commend ourselves? Or do we need, as do some, letters of commendation to you or from you? You are our letter, written in our hearts, known and read by all men, being revealed that you are a letter of Christ, served by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tablets of stone, but in tablets that are hearts of flesh. This is the very essence of the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament is God's Torah written on stone. The New Testament is God's same Torah written on your heart by the Spirit of God. Put it this way, you know, for those of you who are old enough, you might remember, hey, do you remember CDs, compact discs? You know, you can buy, let's say, for example, a, a band, uh, some music, Band X, let's call it, on CD. But you know what? You can also download that and you can also have that on, let's say, flash media, a USB drive or something like that. It's the same music. It's exactly the same songs. It's just that it's on a different format. It's on different media. You got compact disc versus, you know, USB drive or, you know, something to that effect, a flash media on your cell phone or anything like that. There's a good chance that the media that you have on flash media is actually in better quality than what's on compact disc. A better bit rate, a better sample rate, you know, clearer, better quality. In the same way, the law of God written on your heart can be clearer, of better quality than what is written on stone. It's the same law. It's the same song, so to speak. It's the same lyrics, okay? Exactly the same. It's just that it's written on different media. Such confidence we have through Christ toward God. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to account anything as from ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God, who also made us sufficient as servants of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the Spirit, for the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. There is so much misunderstanding, especially in charismatic slash Pentecostal groups today in regards to exactly what this means. You know, there are people that are so extreme on this that they say, oh, we don't need the scriptures at all. We don't need the Bible at all. We just got the Spirit. You know, there are people like that. They're like, well, we don't read the Bible because the Spirit of God speaks right to me. 99.99% .99 of those people always miss it. They prophesy. They say that God spoke to them when it is absolutely false. They're well-meaning people. They're well-meaning. They really believe that what they say is true, but over and over again, they are proved to be wrong. They are proved to be, if I may say it, false prophets. So you have to be very, very careful when it comes to, you know, listening to the Spirit of God and not going by the Scriptures. Don't forget, okay, don't forget that the letter or the Torah written on tablets of stone actually came from the Spirit of God. It was the Spirit of God that told Moses what to write. It was the Spirit of God that manifested God to Moses. The same Spirit of God that most Christians claim to have, even though they are against the Torah of God. It doesn't make sense, okay? Because the same Spirit of God gave the same law to Moses and Christians who say that the Spirit of God speaks to them and we don't go by the law anymore, we don't have to go by the Bible no more, that is completely erroneous, okay? The Spirit of God spoke to Moses, the same Spirit, and he doesn't have two personalities, he doesn't have multiple personalities. The Spirit of God does not change his word because he doesn't need to change his word. It is the eternal word. It never needs to be upgraded, okay? When God spoke to Moses through the Spirit, God knew exactly what he was doing. He knew exactly the word that he was speaking is the eternal word of God, the reflection of himself. You see, the Torah is the reflection of God himself. 
So Jesus said, when the Spirit of God comes, he will remind you of what I say, the teachings that I teach you. And Jesus taught right out of the Torah. Everything was right out of the Torah. Absolutely everything was right out of the Torah. The Spirit of God reminds you of the Scriptures. The Spirit of God takes the Scriptures and imprints them on your heart. The Spirit of God never goes against the Scriptures, the real true Word of God, the thus saith the Lord of God. The Spirit of God does not go against it. And don't forget that Jesus rebuked a lot of people for not knowing the Scriptures. He said it over and over again. Have you not read? Don't you know, so to speak? Don't you know? Have you not read? It is our responsibility to read the Scriptures and to know the Scriptures really, really well. And it's by the Spirit of God that we can know the Scriptures better. Reading the Bible and reading the Scriptures without the Spirit of God is like going into a dark room without a ray of light, without an iota of light at all. And, you're, and you, you, you feel there's walls there. You feel there, there fur, there's furniture there and there's, there's carpet down there. You know there's a table there. You know there's a book there. But when you find the light and you flick on, flick on the light switch, then you see what is written. Then you see the colors. Then you see the pattern of the carpet. Then you see the patterns on the ceiling. And that's the way it is with the Spirit of God. You can read the Scriptures, and a lot of people do. They read the Scriptures and they don't have the Spirit of God at all. You need the Spirit of God, okay? You can't do it with just the letter alone. And this is what Paul is saying. You can't do it with just the letter alone, okay? Because that is dead. But you need the Spirit of God and the letter to go together to really understand the Scriptures and to really know what it means, what it says, and how it applies. Seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find Him. Call upon Him, and He will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.